<laughs> Lose right here in between my legs. One second. Okay. Well, welcome back to some more um, Detroit Become Human. I'm eating some hibiscus flowers, dried and sweet. And I got some tea and some water. I'm settled in, ready to go. What's this? Do you remember? Sure. Oh. Great. Let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? I mean, yeah. Sure. I've Do you think that games. technology could become a threat to mankind? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it already is. I mean, with the advent of nuclear technology, we've seen the threat to mankind. Totally. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Yeah. What technology do you most anticipate? Do you believe in God? Oh, no way. Would you let an android take care of your children? Solid question. Um, sure. How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? Too much, especially here lately. If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? Good question. I mean, most people are operated on by a person operating. I would say, sure. Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Everybody was like, yes. Yes. Oh, wow, that's surprising. I mean, a book can, in cell phone, cell phone will die. Pen and paper only lasts so long. You can't plug a console into anything. A book, you can only read it so many times. An instrument has almost an unquantifiable amount of things you can do with it to keep you occupied. I'm also a musician, so I'm obviously going to go for the instrument. Yes. Yeah, I can see that being the answer. What technology do you most anticipate? Really? Brain connected devices. I don't really care about that. You believe in God? No. A lot of people don't believe in God. Yes. Yeah, a lot of people be okay with that. Interesting. How much time do you spend? More? <laughs> I probably would have answered more. I thought about it a little more. Yes, that makes sense. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that all makes sense to me. Hello, how are you today? I am fine, how are you? It's so odd and realistic. It's amazing. In like five years, we're gonna look back on that and be like, oh, that's not that realistic. I guess we'll say six since it's four years old. All right, bud, look out for my feet. Find Amanda. Amanda Waller! Scoot over, get a little centered here. Okay. Birdie. Birdie. Uh, it looks like she's over there. Yeah, there's like glowy stuff over here. Oh look, I'm right. 
that her? That's her. Wow. This place is beautiful. I can't even look up the pillars here. I, I came from over here. But why was I over here? <laughs> I wonder what that is. Let's take our time with this. This is beautiful. I wonder if I can mess up the sand. It's gonna make me walk around it. Ooh, I don't think I can get over there. Nope. What's up, pair? It's going pretty well. Oh, what's up, cat? What's this? I love how this game is like... Oh, I, I like really, really died. Okay. Um... I didn't realize I had like I thought they just fixed me and rebooted me I didn't realize I had like died died interesting I love how this game rewards you for walking around and looking at things boy that's pretty oh uh oh Lou turn on the printer hold on Come on, bud. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Let's not go under there. Turn this on. All right. Uh. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Doesn't look like you're happy to see me. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. Interesting. You can count on me, Amanda. I thought the adapt was a good choice. I didn't think he was going to say Hurry, that. Connor. There's little time. 
I was thinking more like, I mean, I like I yell at my suits. Adapt. Survive. Mr. Anderson. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. It's okay. It's okay. Just relax. Just tell him what happened to you. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't beep, arrived beep, yet, beep. but you can wait at his desk. Whoa! The tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level, with a Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have clashed last night. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to either side. The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, has spoken of intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. The countries in the region, particularly... Be right back. Lou's got my shoe. Okay, I'm back. Sweden and Canada have called for military forces to withdraw yeah. and an international conference to be held. So far, there has been no response from either sure. Moscow or Washington. We'll keep you informed minute by minute as the situation develops. Oh, cool. Miller. Can I talk to him or no? Read. What else have we got? Wilson. Wilson! <laughs> Mr. No Name. Injured dies. Carl Manfred went towards his lights. Nothing was said about the android. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. It's that desk right there. The last one that I didn't go to. <laughs> Did everything, right? Yeah. Oh, that's Dolan's. This must be him right here. Anderson! I have come shaking Excuse you. Me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. <laughs> Explore new office. Hi, honey. I guess this would be like old Gen, Gen Zers. Knights of the Black Death. Dark heavy metal.
Value of 500,000? A young but hugely talented detective is said to have been instrumental in operation. Interesting. Harrison Promo to regular lieutenant. Say, Jimmy's bar matches. Ah, donuts sound amazing. I might get donuts tomorrow. <laughs> Full coffee traces of caffeine. <laughs> I would hope so. He's got a dog, a St. Bernard. That's cute. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank, in my office. Okay. We hit everything? Yeah, we hit everything. Enter and listen. I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. But I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick! Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off! You are a police lieutenant! You are supposed to do what I say, and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay, huh? okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, cause it already looks like a fucking novel! This <laughs> conversation is over! Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Ugh. I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best no! person to this Hey, I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Have a nice... No. That is not what I wanted. That's the second time tonight that I've done a thing I didn't want. <sighs> I need to really think about it before I press a button. Why 
Why is that locked? I missed something, I guess. He doesn't like understanding. Pragmatic Listen, might be the best approach. I know you don't like me, but we're going to have to work together. We'll both have to make an effort. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? Okay. No one's using that one. I do think Anderson's good for this thing, and um. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. <laughs> you have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? <laughs> Sumo. I call him Sumo. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Now I wonder if I should hit the anti-androids. Um, I want to know. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? In the office? Yeah. There is one. Damn it! Now we're neutral again. Mm. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Work. When you return, the android was nowhere to be found. No trace of the freaking other part of the android. Without being worked. at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle a man before leaving the scene. The android remains at large. Plaintiff claims they have been attacked by several rooms in the house before taking flight. Whoa! Kingsman's body was found by a friend who came to say hello. He immediately called the emergency room. Two who reported death by gunshot wound. Murder weapon may have belonged to the victim. His android and AX room was Seen and is the main suspect. Oh, this dead at home. Son, the later latter's witness statement attests to the android being hit violently. An android is thought to be a prototype, a model, and serial number. Interesting! I didn't know he was a prototype! Huh. Cool.
243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. I know you didn't ask for this investigation, Lieutenant, but I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last really? night. It's been cited in the Ravendale district. I'm not good at I'm this. I'm on it. like there's any other way no matter what he was gonna get pissed off at least I don't see any other routes wow I missed a couple of things up here All right, we'll continue. I really want to be friends with Hank. Ugh. Pressing E. Is it? I don't, I don't understand. I'm here. I'm pressing it. Is it? Shit! It's not working. Did I break it? I think I broke it. Okay, I broke it. All right, hold on. Well, this is a long load time. Still can't do the fire, huh? Oh, that was weird. No, 
Ah, <laughs> cool. I mean, it says revive fire, but how? Maybe, oh god, of course you gotta take wood. Yeah, duh. Duh. Would you put the gun there? Uh, gun's gonna be gone when she goes back. Yeah, definitely don't lose track of that. <laughs> Anything else in here? Not really. Nice. Whoa, can you actually see any of those apartments? Nah, nah they're just wallpaper textures. him in here? I think it is. Somebody. Got a beard? Really hard to tell. Come on, you're not gonna let me get closer? Shit. Alright. I'm, I'm literally hitting E. I don't... I'm holding E. I'm hitting E. Girl, you quit touching yourself and grab the damn... Grab the scissors! Why are you doing this? Just... <sighs> We're on an animation loop. Uh... Come on. Am I doing... Do I need a controller? Like, what's happening here? Am, am I, is it a game-breaking glitch? Like, I can't... Hmm. Well, I guess we'll try one more time. There we go. Hmm. 
wonder how you'd make hair on an android look real. Wow, that's a cute haircut. On white, black. I like it the way it is, though. Maybe go blonde? I don't know. <gasps> oh, that's cute! What's white look like? Black. Hmm. I like the blonde the best on her. She's gonna take hers out too, huh? Interesting. Huh. But, but dead hand in shower. Yeah, he like he's like dead dead. I thought that was a beard on him. All right, that's all for now. Pretty good. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? I have no idea. So what do we got here? Most driver saw it at 2.30. Seen at a convenience store. Shit! It stole wire cutters. There must be a reason. Wire cutters? What the fuck are you talking about? I checked the CCTV while you were questioning the clerk. The android was caught on camera stealing them. Shit! It had wire cutters, and it was looking for a place to hide. So, what's your conclusion, Sherlock? Maybe it didn't go far. Gotta go. Ooh, look at that bear. <laughs> Ralph found this to feed the little girl. <laughs> it's good for her. A present. To make up for past misunderstandings. <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. <laughs> Come. Come and sit down. That's very kind of you, Ralph, but we have to go. Go? <laughs> no, you will go once the little girl is eaten. We will eat together, just like a family. The father, the mother, and the little girl. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. It wouldn't be polite for her to refuse, would it? Secret. <laughs> succulent, you'll see. Succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Father, mother, little girl. What did she say? She said she can't wait to eat it. She's very hungry. The little human is not going to regret it. <laughs> Ralph found the best, the biggest one he could find. <laughs> this is going to be succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Go ahead. 
Eat. I saw the body upstairs. You killed that human, didn't you? No. No, he was like that when Ralph found him. You killed that man, Ralph. There's no point in lying. You hate humans, but you're just like them. You're a murderer. Ralph didn't mean any harm. No. Just that... Ralph can control his anger. When his anger comes, Ralph doesn't know what he's doing. He, he becomes stupid. Full of hatred. Ralph is sorry. He just wanted to be your friend. Then let us go. Anybody home? No. Shit. I was wondering what was on this side. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's blood. Be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. <clears throat> Are there any other androids here? Other androids? No. Ralph is alone. I'm looking for an AX-400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. Is anyone upstairs? No. 
Nobody. Connor, what the hell are you doing in there? Coming, Lieutenant. station. Damn, Connor can run. Holy crap. Uh, it's going pretty well. I made a few mistakes, but far it's so good. Stressing me out. Dude, they're getting on that road. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. That's insane. Whoa! Go, 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 go! Whoa! Go, 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 go! Oh. Oh. Do that again? I can't let them get away. Insane. And never make it to the other side. I can't take that chance. Now you will get yourself killed. Do not go after him, Connor. That's an order. It's racing. Made sense not to chase them. Yeah. Well, I'm biased. I wanted them to get away. Also, it made Hank like him more, which is good. Dang, everybody went with that. Everybody went with the other one. Everyone was like, chase them! Get them! <laughs> Alright. I think that's enough of this game tonight. I'm trying to do two chapters at a time. It makes it easier for cutting. Put it up. So, I'm going to go play some Overwatch or something. So, I'll be back in a little bit. Bye! Bye!